I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of blogs my students have created. Now, if you watch the previous video, that's all the information I gave my students. I didn't talk about how to change backgrounds, how to change font. So anything different that you see is all things that they have figured out on their own. So this is Ashley's blog. She's added some images. She's changed her text, her background, and she's figured out how to add photos as well. Notice she has a couple of different blogs. So she created her blog where she writes about things that she's done. She added some photos. She's playing Guess My Friend blog. Um, she talked about our fourth grade committee. Then she also has her diary where she writes about her day. And then she also has a poem blog where she's writing different poems that she created, which actually we did in writing. So she's taking things that we've done in writing and is now doing it in her own blog. This is Dia's blog. So again, she has made all these changes on her own. She gave a little bit about herself, some information. She has a couple of different blogs as well. We have a gymnastics tab where she writes about gymnastics. Um, vacations where she writes about different trips she has taken. Free write where she will post different almost prompts for herself and then responds to them. And then book reviews where she's choosing to write about different books that she's reading and kind of either recommending or not recommending them. Those are all topics she kind of came up with her own and organized in her own way. And then last, this is Suhani's blog. And so she gave a little bit of information about herself. And then she's using her blog more so as a way to write stories. Um, so this is the story of Bob the Ball, which you'll notice she started in September. And it only has one post. And she has edited the post every single week. And look how much writing she has done. So she has, let's see, at least 10 different chapters in this one story. What's nice too is if you look for comments, you'll see that she has two comments. Um, so a classmate commented and then I commented um, as a way to encourage her to keep going and to let her know that people are reading the things she has to say, which is pretty powerful for kids to see. And then here she has more of her traditional blog. So as you can see, all of the students have their own blogs that look differently. They've put effort in their own different ways and created their own way to communicate with the world.